Hi everyone, my name is Haley Richards and today we will be talking about the educational philosophies of John Locke. Locke was born in 1632 and died in 1704. Although Locke's time on earth was hundreds of years ago, Locke's educational philosophies can still be seen today. For this presentation, we will talk about children as natural learners, the role of parents in education, and moral education. Locke believed childhood was a distinctive stage of development. Locke saw children as natural learners. He believed that children had an infinite capacity for learning, but that children could also be inf easily influenced as well. Locke suggested that learning must go hand in hand with a child's natural curiosity. Children should create their own playthings instead of artificial tools to help them gain understanding to how to control the world around them. Locke's theories can be seen in preschools today. Although preschools are structured and generally supply pre-made toys for students, imaginative play is a requirement. Students have time set aside to discover how things work and how, and how to control them in their own way. Although Locke probably would not have been in favor of structured preschools as the ones we have today, he may have been somewhat satisfied with the unstructured playtime set aside each day and probably would have wanted to see the same time set aside in higher grade levels as well. Locke was a big supporter of parents being the leading role in a child's education. In general, he favored education in the home or education provided by a tutor of the parent's choice. He believed education should be used to help children overcome the temptation of impulsive decisions. Children should not receive anything unnecessary and should not receive material things as rewards. Many schools today use prize boxes or stickers to motivate students to do well in school, which is something that Locke would not have been a fan of. Many parents share the same view for their children's education as Locke. Parents today still choose to homeschool their children and play both the role of parent and teacher. However, the state still mandates that all children be educated and has some control over the curriculum parents must use if they choose to homeschool. Although Locke may not have agreed with the state's control over homeschooling, he still probably would have preferred this over public schools today. Locke believed an education should consist of many different disciplines in order for students to be more well-rounded. However, Locke believed moral education should be the biggest priority for students. He believed moral education helped set the mind right in students. An education without moral instruction was an education in vain. Today, schools take moral education seriously. Although moral education is not a top priority for schools, Schools today are teaching children how to get along with one another and are spending more time helping students develop positive relationships and appropriate conflict resolution strategies. While this may not have been exactly what Locke had in mind, it is still obvious that Locke's views on moral education are still alive today. Locke's ideas have not gone without criticism, however. For example, according to Stephen Ford, Locke was notoriously vague as to what rational demonstration was, even though Locke claimed his teachings were fully capable of creating rational demonstration. I personally have found some of Locke's ideas to be vague myself. I do agree that parents need to have a larger role in their children's ed education, but I also think there needs to be guidelines as to what students need to learn. Students using hands-on activities, creating their own toys, using their imaginations, and learning how the world works through discovery are all great things. But children also need structure and guidelines as to how things work as well. There, are, there needs to be balance between structured education and independent learning. I do agree in some ways that parents need to have a bigger role in their child's education. As a teacher myself, I see many parents placing 100% of the ed child's education on the teacher. While in today's society, the teacher does have much of the responsibility, parents still need to share some of that responsibility as well. Parents need to make sure their students are doing what they are supposed to do in school while also teaching them valuable life skills they may not receive in school. I want to thank you so much for your time, and I hope that you found this presentation useful and interesting. Thank you.